Now to the video that impressed all of us in the newsroom this afternoon. It shows the moment the spillway gate at Lake Dunlap near New Braunfels suddenly collapsed. KXA investigator Aaron Cargyle has been digging into what we need to know about this particular dam and who inspects them. Aaron. Sydney, no doubt this video is crazy. This dam was built in 1928. It's more than 90 years old, but the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality says despite the gate failure, this dam is still sound. TCEQ is the agency who inspects them, and how often they do it depends on if the dam is considered high hazard. That's based on the size of population in danger downstream if a problem occurs. This one on Lake Dunlap is high hazard. Because of that, it's supposed to be checked every five years. The last inspection was about a year ago in June of last year. We don't know the results, and we're told by TCEQ to file a public information request, which we are working on. Now, the dam was engineered by a company called Fargo Engineering. It does not appear they've been in business for the last 60 years. Now, TCEQ made it clear this was not a dam failure. It was a spillway gate failure. The gate is one of three. That's the structure used to control the water release from the dam downstream. And water is still being held up by the dam. But TCEQ says this is now a flooding issue. Back to you. Aaron, thanks. The spillway gate failure is the reason people in Kyle are being asked to conserve water. KXN's Gary Cooper just uh, spoke with the city about how concerned residents should be there. He's live outside Kyle City Hall. A good afternoon. The big thing the city of Kyle wants everyone to know is that the city of Kyle does have water for everyone to use. They just want citizens to be a bit more judicious in how they use it. This is the moment the spillway gate at the dam at the lake failed Tuesday, sending a small lake down the Guadalupe River. This is what it looks like today. Patty Gonzalez with the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority says... We don't know what caused the failure. As a result, the Lake Dunlap has been dewatering overnight. Another result, the city of Kyle issued a voluntary water restriction notice. Normal everyday use is no problem. We're just asking them to, to be wary of using additional irrigation outside or filling up pools or doing any type of automobile washing, anything that's not really necessary. Kyle gets its water from Lake Dunlap, the Edwards Aquifer, and Barton Springs. Primary is the EAA in Barton Springs. So when one fails, the infrastructure is partially stressed. But to be clear... There's no reason to panic. We're not going to run out of water tomorrow or anything like that. So the city says it's erring on the side of caution. And the city is asking its residents to cut back on watering the grass, washing the car, and filling up the pool until further notice. And when will these restrictions finally be lifted? Well, that depends on when the repairs on the spillway and the dam can take place. And when will that happen? Well, according to the GBRA, that will happen as soon as engineers can get in there and take a proper survey of all the damage. And that will happen when all this rain finally goes away and the ground dries up. In Kyle, Gary Cooper, KXAN News. And just minutes ago, the LCRA closed one of two floodgates open at Mansfield Dam. That's where Lake Travis empties into Lake Austin.